I know I told you the other day we couldn't find any fish to stock our ponds in the area except for trout. And I wasn't having any luck finding any to order online and get shipped here. Well, I found one place online that had four catfish left over from last year that they were willing to ship in the mail. I don't know if it's a scam or not, but supposedly they're in at the post office. We're gonna go pick them up right now, see if they're alive, how they're doing, and get them up to the off-grid property. Fingers crossed these guys are nice and healthy. I would like to get some more fish for the off-grid property. I wanna get some bluegill or some bass or some rock bass, crappy, crappie, however you wanna pronounce it, I guess I should say. If you know of any good hatcheries, fish hatcheries that ship their fishes through the mail. Kinda of sounds funny. Leave it in the comments down below because the only place I found is the place that had this four catfish. Let's go take a ride to the post office. Well, it says live fish. We'll find out in a little bit. The mailman at the post office said, do they really ship live fish? I said, I don't know, it's the first time I've done it. I was told they're guaranteed to be alive when we get them. So, we're gonna find out in a little bit. Before we head up there, we better open the box up and make sure they're alive. They're all packed nicey nice. Wow. Look at that, guys. They are alive. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. All right, <laughs> let's get these up to the off-grid property. So this pond right here is our upper pond and it is dirty, dirty water. I don't know why. It's always been just murky. So that's why we want to put the catfish in this pond. We're hoping that these catfish will help clean it up. I'm thinking we're going to need more than just these catfish, but we're going to start off with what we have for now and see how we do. Let's get these little buggers in there. That's a big old moose track right here. The moose have been coming in here and using it as their watering hole. Look at these beautiful things. Those are some nice looking catfish. They've been in the mail for two, two and a half days. And they're still thriving. Is it only two? There's two in the side too. Oh. All right, let's open up this other bag and see how these fish are doing. I'm not sure why they're wrapped with newspaper, but there's gonna be a reason for it. Oh yeah, these guys are doing out. Oh, maybe one didn't make it. No. Uh, it looks a little sad. He looks a little sad. We'll see if we can revive him when we get him out, but one of them might not have made it. So we might only have three. We'll find out in a second. All right, let's get these little guys in the water. I think that fourth one is belly up and there's not anything we're gonna be able to do to that one. Whew, the other one's a feisty bugger. <gasps> come on, come on. 
Oh. Was it bite? No, they got a little horn on them. And this guy. See him right here? Oh yeah. And there he goes. Staying nice and shallow. So they have little horns on them. Or their fins are really sharp and that kind of stuck me. That's why I dropped them fast. But yeah, that guy. That guy did not make it, unfortunately. All right, let's try these other two. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't hurt me. Wow, these are feisty guys. Look at those things. The little whiskers and everything. Ready? Phew. Whoa, he took wow, off. Wow, he was fast. All right, last one. So I was told that these things breed like rabbits. I'm hoping that is true. Ready? It's gonna be fast. Oh. See ya. Be fruitful and multiply, please. We can clean this pond up. All right, so three out of four is not bad. They had a long trip from Oregon, so I'll have to contact the seller because they were guaranteed alive. It's one of the things with the catfish, they don't jump like the trout, so I don't know how we're gonna tell if they're alive or not other than for fishing form and if the water clears up. If you know of a way to check to see if the catfish is still alive, leave it in the comments down below. This pond is so murky. I think this is going to be a perfect catfish pond. We've never raised catfish before, so let me know what you what you think. This pond is loaded with tadpoles, so I'm hoping the catfish will do just as well. It'll be nice to see this pond cleaned up. Let us know what else you think we should stock this pond with and where we could get them, because we're not having any luck finding fish other than trout in our area to stock the ponds with. We want to get some more fish up here. I think you should try swimming in this pond. I don't think so. Come on. No. I swim yet. I swim in the other pond. I told you you better not get in this one. I'm <laughs> not getting in it, that's for sure. One of the really nice things about the ponds, they're 12 feet deep and the edges drop off really quick, which when you're trying to get in and swim isn't that great, but it's going to keep the predators from being able to stand on the edge and catch the fish because it's not shallow. So that's going to help with these fish growing. I'm not sure how long it's going to take these fish to grow up to get to any good size. If you know, leave it in the comments down below, but it looks like there's plenty of food out there for these catfish to eat. Come see all these tadpole eggs at a time. A time. Oh yeah, look at those small little eggs. And then look over here, babe. There's a whole bunch. And then I just saw little ones. Oh wow. I can't wait to try frog legs this year. Olivia has been waiting. Tasty. I can't get over how many eggs there is in this pond. There was eggs, but not this many before. Holy crap. And there's some right here in the stick. You can't really see them good on camera. Oh yeah? Because the water's so murky. You got some tadpoles swimming right here that are starting to get their legs on them. Look at all the deer tracks. They're all over the place. Over here, and there's some more smaller moose tracks over here. Is there? Yeah. They must be all coming right there to drink the water. It's kind of shallow right here. Yep. That's a good sized moose track right here. Must be coming down here to drink out of the water. It's nice and shallow on this one spot. A lot of the other spots, it just drops right off once you get into the water. But you got a shallow spot there, and then over where Gina is. Look at this moose track. That's huge. My hand fits in there. That's a monster. And right here. You want to go take a ride to the other pond and see if we can see the trout jumping? I do. Let's go check it out. I hope they do. Alright? Yeah. Look at these deer tracks. They're huge. That's a big boy. Oh, I 
can't wait till hunting season comes. We can do some hunting up here this year. Wonder what the odds are we'll see him jumping right now. I don't see any floating on the top. That was one of my fears. That's a good sign. I mean, I, I don't see anything. This pond is so much clearer. It is. It's usually even clearer than it is right now. It's loaded with pollen. Yeah. There's one. You do, really? Yep, right here, babe. I don't know right. if the camera caught it. Right here. Oh, yeah, look at it. There's one swimming. I figured we'd come over here because this is one of the spots we let him go in. That's so you can see it. Yep. There's four right here swimming together. I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not. One, two, three. See him right here, he's coming up to the water. Wow. Four of them. That's wild. They're loving it. That is wild. That's so cool. Curious to see if we see any more fish. Oh, there's two more swimming right here, guys. Right here. In a frog. Surprised we're not seeing any in the reeds yet, but we can't see out there. I bet you there's quite a few of the fish hiding in this area. I want to get over to that rock because you can see in pretty good this way. There goes one. See, there is. Yep. I'm going to go ahead of you so I can't hurt. Don't know where he went now, but there was one right over here. Now we just need one to jump. Oh, look at all of them right there, Al. Right where? Oh, yeah. Right ahead. I don't know if you guys can see them right there, not in the camera, but there is... Oh, ten? A pile of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably about ten. Oh, That's, yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe even more than ten. There's more than ten right there. Look at them all. I love that we can see them. Wow. Yep. See them? I you do. You see the really silver. Oh, yep. right on the top. Right on the top. You thought I was full of it. It's gonna come oh. up again. I'm right here. But I'm going like that way. Ah. I need to get up here and finish cleaning up this bank so we can walk it and see and fish. But they are doing good. They I would like say they're this. acclimating well to the pond. Crazy. There's two right here. It's just so crazy. I gotta go get the drone up and see if we can see them from the sky. So the only thing is we can see them that good with the drone. That's how good the birds can see them. So hopefully like the hawks or whatever flying by don't pick them off. Hopefully they learn to go deep and hide under the rocks and the cover in the pond. I can see some right here. Like right there. Huh? I can see them right here. Yeah, they're all right here. Yep.
So we have another batch of 50 meat birds that just showed up at the post office. We need to go get those, bring them home, and get them in the brooder. I would switched the other meat birds over to the other side because they're big enough now. So we need to go get these. All right, I gotta run into the post office. I'll be right back with the chicks. They sound nice and healthy. Listen to them chirp. Let's get them home now and see how they're all doing. Bet you they're gonna love a drink of water and some grain. <laughs> Talk about a noisy ride home. These chicks are pretty talkative. This is another batch of 50 meat birds from McMurrayHatchery.com. I'll link them in the video description down below. This is who we're getting all of our meat birds from this year. And we have it. Daisy's pretty noisy. We have at least one more batch coming. Maybe two. So we have 50 plus two. So we have 50 jumbo cross males that we paid for and then they shipped us two free just in case something happens during shipping. Crazy to think these guys are gonna be this big in two weeks and those guys were this big two weeks ago. Look how fast they grow. And in six more weeks, they'll be ready for the dinner plate. It's just crazy. So we got 52 meat birds. One of them didn't make it, so now we have 51 in there. Big row. You checking everything out, mister? Miss Daisy? I think I got a hole in my sock. <laughs> I do, my big toe is going right through it. I guess those socks are no good. I'll have to get some new ones before we head up to the Austin property. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. Let's get up to the off-grid property. First time mowing at the off-grid property. <laughs> Can't wait to get this pond cleaned up.
I cut down a lot of the brush over here and I'm just amazed at how much beaver damage there is. There's a good size hole right there. And over here, there's a bunch of sticks. Sticks there and more out there. And you can see it's, they've got like tunnels in here and over here. We found a pile of sticks over there that have been all beaver chutes. I'm assuming there was a lodge here at one point and they had a big lodge. This was all flooded out and they had tunnels to get into their lodge. They also have a bunch of branches out here that must have been one of their food source piles. I'm thinking right now it's probably really good cover for the trout. And then over here, let me bring you over there. All along here, you can see that the beavers were making a berm and they must have had this all flooded out from here on up over there out to where our outhouse is and there's a bunch of beaver chewed logs up over there so this one at one point was all flooded out I do know they had an issue in here with the beavers flooding it out and that was one of the reasons why they put this straight around the culvert because the beavers had plugged up that culvert to let the water out, which goes down that way. We'll be getting a piece of equipment up here to clean this up. For now, this is the best we're gonna be able to get it. But look at these rocks. Got these nice big flat rocks that are just like a shelf. We're debating whether or not to clean up these softwood trees behind us or if we should leave them here. They look nice, but it'd also be nice to have this all open up because there's a lot of cool rocks right here along the edge of the pond. You like that rock? Is it really that cold? What's that? Is it cold? It's cold. Ooh. Don't come in. Yes, <laughs> Now that I gotta bring you home and my truck. <laughs> How was your swim? Was it refreshing or what? You're crazy. You did a big old belly flop. Crazy puppy dog. Now you gotta dry off. <laughs> what do you got? Come here. What is it? Drop it. Some kind of animal bone? Yeah, a vertebrae. It's an animal kind of an some kind of animal bone. Yeah. Good job, Pluto. You can find that all by yourself. Yeah. We got some leftover taters, peppers, and onions. Dirty hands. No, nah, I washed them in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. I'm hitting that. Pass it to that sizzle. I can do it all. Is that how you're going to shovel? <laughs> Oh, look at that sizzle. Oh, yeah.
good. Do you feel like you're being stared at? Yep. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for a wonderful day. We were having so much fun up at the off-grid property, I forgot to make a closing to the video. I hope these catfish do well. There's three of them. We have to see if we can find some more. Hopefully the company that we got them, hopefully the hatchery that we got them from will have more this summer. If you guys have any more recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. It'll be nice to get all these ponds stocked with some tasty fish so we'll have another sustainable food source. Oh, we're so looking forward to be able to start catching some of these fish out of our ponds, doing a little catch, clean, and cooking. So good. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Share it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.